The House Rules Committee is set to take up the bipartisan debt ceiling bill today. That means a vote on the bill could come as early as tomorrow, but a couple of Republican holdouts on the committee could complicate all of this as both sides scramble to whip up those votes. One of those is South Carolina Congressman Ralph Norman, who sits on the Rules Committee that is meeting today to determine whether the debt ceiling deal will make it to the House floor. And the congressman joins us now. Point blank, will you vote for the rule that gets it to the floor? And if not, why? Todd, let me just tell you, the, um, the when, when we read the text of the bill that uh, we presented back on August 26th of the Senate. Uh, it was a conservative bill. It wasn't all that we wanted uh, as conservatives, but it got the trajectory of spending down. It had actual year one cuts, uh, and it had a limit on the debt ceiling. When we examined the details, it was anything but that. Uh, now, the, the, the fight in January with Kevin McCarthy was that he would fight for conservatism. It was his words that said, debt is the single biggest threat to America. Uh, not only did he not fight, he surrendered the details of, of our bill. And so the only people that are happy with this bill, only factions that are happy, are China, which is buying up more of our debt, and the Biden administration, which we're now seeing is a corrupt administration that will spin this country into oblivion. We're not going to have it. Now, as far as the Rules Committee, we will look at it. We will see what amendments can be offered. Uh, if it's a closed rule, meaning no amendments and accept what we saw in print, it's a no-go for a lot of us. Yeah, I mean, aren't some of those people that McCarthy had to make deals with uh, back in January, aren't they on the Rules Committee? What happens if they just keep, the Republicans and these holdouts just keep holding out? Well, it would never get out of committee. If, if we voted down the committee, and we got Chip Roy, myself, and Thomas Massey as uh, the new people on the committee. So it'll just sit there. But hopefully something can be worked out. This deal is not what we, what we bargained for. And the fact that we even having to, to, to surrender everything, no, that was the deal we had was the minimum. Uh, and America deserves better than this, and it, it's just not in it. And I don't understand why it went from a conservative bill, limit, save, and grow, which it did, to basically give it in on every point. And, and the biggest single thing that is so wrong about this, uh, the $1.5 trillion that we, we've had in there as a limit is basically taken off. And it's, uh, he could spend $4 trillion, he can spend $10 trillion. Uh, and he pushed it until after the elections, which is, again, it's unfathomable that this would happen. Well, let's look at the math here. We had Chad Pergram and our Fox team look into this, and we could not find really one instance in the modern era of any minority members on a committee voting to move things through to the House floor. So none of the minority members on the Rules Committee are going to move this through, and you have a bunch of holdouts, including yourselves, uh, not moving it through. This thing is not going to go anywhere, to your point. And so at this point, are you willing to go past this ever-moving default day, I believe it's now June 5th, without a deal? Well, the, you know, Janet Yellen moving the date around, I don't buy that. I mean, Janet Yellen has, you know, it was first June, it was June 1 was the D-Day, now it's June 5th. Uh, tax revenues are coming in uh, around Ju in June, and so I don't buy her date. I think we need to call her bluff, and there is a time that you walk away from negotiations, and this is one of them. They're not serious. Biden dithered for over 100 days, and no deal is better than a bad deal, and this is a bad deal for America, and it, it's, it should not move forward. But we'll see how it's, we're all coming back today, and we'll see if it, uh, what concessions or if they can get back to some semblance of what the intentions of the bill was. That was the whole fight, uh, whole thing with McCarthy. He was supposed to fight for conservatism. He surrendered, and we're not going to accept that. It sounds like you are not very happy with the Speaker of the House. If he gives you concessions, the question then becomes, will the Democrats on the other side vote for it? And that's what you all in D.C. have to work out over the course of the next couple of days. Don't tune your televisions away yet. We're nowhere near done on the debt fight. Congressman Ralph Norman, thank you, sir. My pleasure. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.